Hey everyone, welcome back to another Can Terraria bosses survive? We are finally here on the new world and look how amazing it is. Wow, so much better than the old world. Hey, this is just for Can Terraria bosses survive though. I'll probably still do, you know, other videos on the original world. But yes, today's weapon is this beautiful weapon right here. Okay, maybe not so beautiful sprite wise, but beautiful name wise. The Gamer Space Raid Sword 101 amazing and look at that whose cute beautiful face is that i'll give you a hint it's me but yeah look at the damage it's a little high maybe a little low sometimes i don't know it's kind of fluctuating it says into orbit for a short amount of time the blades will linger around your mouse after that the blade will then chase down enemies this thing apparently hates target dummies i thought there was gonna be like a game raiders reference or something in the sword description but it's fine it, it doesn't need to be all right let's get to it new world new me just kidding new world same old thing let's get to it i'm interested to see how this weapon works okay cool so it's where my sword is it's kind of weird <laughs> it's kind of like uh zenith's really stupid brother is what it's feeling like L let me just see let me just hold it out for a little bit yeah it kind of is like the zenith in a way it's actually kind of cool i really like this attack all right let's summon in the next boss the eye there you go i don't even have to do anything <laughs> Yo, the Dungeon Guardian is right here on Cheat Sheet? Was there a Cheat Sheet update? Why is the Dungeon Guardian here all of a sudden? I don't remember him being in the boss section. This is weird. All right, whatever. Son of the Dungeon Guardian, he died like instantly. Jeez. Okay. Queen B. Wow, this is nice and easy. You know, quote unquote, I am in the corruption. So, you know, might as well summon the Eater of Worlds. The Eater of Worlds, I don't think, is in the boss section still. But the Dungeon Guardian is. Oh, Eater's dead. You hate to see it. Brain Cthulhu? Also dead. Yeah, look, no Eater. Still no respect to Eater. The day we consider Dungeon Guardian a boss over the Eater of Worlds, you hate to see it. I don't care if the boy's in segmented pieces. There's other bosses here that are in segmented pieces and still not in here. The disrespect. All right, on to Lepus. Dead. On to Turkor. Dead. And of course, wait a minute. I saw Betsy here. But where's the ogre and the dark mage? See, like, where, what is this inconsistency? Betsy's there now. I don't think Betsy was ever there before. It's, it's getting weirder and weirder. I don't know. I don't even remember updating the cheat sheet mod, but, like, it's getting weird. The only sad thing about this world is, as you can see, there's no boxes. There's no boxes. I had to start up some boxes, bro. So let's start on all the way over here to the right. Let's get the boxes started. Wall of flesh. Boom. The first box has been placed in this new world. Now, here's the real question. Will I make it nighttime to fight the mech bosses? Absolutely not. I'm going to just summon in as many swords as possible and just hope that they all die when I spawn them in. So far, so good. It's looking really good. Oh, my. Okay, very interesting. Don't know what happened there. Look at this jungle temple. Do I have a mod installed that's doing this? I got to have a mod installed or something because, like, this is happening too often. All the new worlds I generate, they're like this. It's got to be like Fargo's month. This is such a good arena, bro. All right, let's go ahead. Let's take on Plantera, of course. The Golem, of course, right after that. I don't know. I guess while I'm here, we could take on like Akram. Why not? Go ahead. Uh-oh. Game froze. It's either the game's going to crash or Akram's going to die and it's just going to take a while. That's usually what happens. There we go. It took a little bit, but Akram is dead. Still don't know why that happens. It's like one of the only bosses it happens with. It's all good. Let's go to the ocean. Uh oh, I went to the wrong ocean. I went to the doo doo colored one. Wait, never mind. It's not doo doo colored or pea colored anymore. Calamity doesn't like having fun. I'm going to the left side ocean because this is more cool over here. All right, it's raining. Whatever it adds to the effect of the next boss, Duke, sure. Boom. I feel like the Duke should be like buffed if it rains. That should be a nice little like Easter egg or something. All right, on to uh, the uh, quote unquote mini bosses. You can consider the mini bosses, event bosses, whatever you want to call them. You know what? I like to call them dead. That's what I like to call them. That's a negative number. What the heck? Yeah, if you look at the top, negative numbers, they're usually a beautiful thing to see in this series. They usually mean a really good thing. All right, on to the next though, Betsy. Oh. Morning wood did not mean to kill the morning wood like that. You know what? Might as well just spam everything out then. Or that was the average scream, not the morning wood. But I was trying to stack all of them on top of each other like I usually do. But you know, the sword kind of lingers around, so it makes my life a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and summon some more swords for the pumpkin. Please get them. Nice. And then the queen, of course. All right, last but not least, the Dutchman. Get him out of here and let's head to the dungeon. What's up, boys? Nice to see you once again in a new world. Bye bye though. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna summon in like a bunch of swords. We're gonna kill the cultists, and then I'm gonna just try and like TP everywhere. 
Oh, what the swords aren't following me. I thought the swords was gonna follow me to this TP. It's all good, it's all good. Some of them do. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But that was still pretty fast. I'm not going to lie. All right. You know what to do. While we wait, we go ahead and take on some Thorium bosses. Sure. Why not? Who's getting their ass beat today from Thorium? I don't know. Let's see the Star Scouter. See you later. Let's see. Uh, let's see Abyssion. See you later. The other Abyssion. The mid-tier Abyssion. Why not the Lich? A majority of them are going to die more than likely i'm not gonna do the uh dream meter we'll do it after the moon lord just in case there's a little like problem i don't know you never know what can happen let's see how fast we can kill the moon lord here wow that was pretty fast kind of want the sword to stop swinging because i want to summon in all three of these guys at once perfect who threw that somebody threw somebody's throwing stuff at me all right now all these guys boom dead and don't hit it anymore because i don't want it to make loud noises Okay, stop, stop, stop. They're hitting it. Please stop hitting it. That thing gets loud. I have my headphones really quiet right now, but that was still loud. All right. Let us do... Let's do the Eidolon Worm. Let's knock the Eidolon Worm out of the way if we can even knock it out of the way here. Let me go ahead and get some swords swinging. Let's see it in action. Oh my God, you love to see it. You love to see it. That's usually a good sign right there. All right, I guess since we did that, let's take on the mutant. Knock him out of the way. I probably should like save him for like the end half, but you know, I uh, might as well cram him in right here. There we go. He's dead, and let's get to some calamity bosses now. All right, let's start with dog. I usually summon in dog with a spawner, but I'm gonna just spawn him in straight up. I don't know which one's which. I'm gonna just guess. It doesn't matter, right? Oh, he died. Okay, let's summon in this one. Okay, they both died, so it doesn't. It really doesn't matter. Actually, we did get the phase two, so the second one I spawned in was the original one. Dead. Twice. Three times? Three times. All right, let's summon in that boy, Yarn. Where you at, bro? Where you at? Right here? Again, I usually use their spawners. Okay, dead. Uh, Why not fight Providence? Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't even get to see it spawn in fully. All right, but Supreme Cal, I legit will use its spawner, though. Just in case there's any problems, you know? Now, my question is, can I hit her while she's over here? No, I cannot. Okay, sadly, cannot cheese it that much. But we're still going to cheese it anyways. Look at me dodging, though. Oh, 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 oh. What? That did not touch me. All right, Sepulcher. Oh, Sepulcher's head is gone. His body's still there, but the rest is gone. And dead just like that. Kill Sepulcher, too. Go to hell. You're hilarious, Calamity Mod. You make me laugh. But there you go. That was Supreme Cal. Nice and easy. On to the next here. The next, I would say, let's do Bill Cypher. And let's do the Ugandan Knuckles. Why not? We do have to spawn both of these guys with their respective spawning tools slash summoners. Let's see it in action here. Good throw. Good throw. I actually do like Bill Cypher turning like the map a different color or having the background like orange and stuff is really cool. If I remember correctly, I think that's similar to like the finale Gravity Falls when they're in like that apocalypse world or whatever. Don't remember. haven't watched it in a long ass time. On to the next one though, Uganda Knuckles. I'm gonna just start swinging. Get him out of here. And we are at the finale just like that, of course. Ek death time on the new world. First Ek death kill or first time I'm gonna get killed by Ek death? Let's see. Oh. I have no idea what just happened. It's like a W and an L at the same time. I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Cantory Bosses Survive. We are in the new world. I know it's not much right now, but like my original idea that I had, I was going to like split up a bunch of biomes and summon the respective bosses in each biome, but like it kind of doesn't matter. I can literally summon bosses anywhere, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, shout out to the developer of the mod. Make sure to check the mod out and also make sure to leave more weapon suggestions, of course. But yeah, I'll see y'all next time.